This is homework section 7.3a, page 357, number 9. 3x minus 10y equals negative 25. 4x plus 40y equals 20. Solve by elimination. I'm going to try to drop out the y's by getting a common number between negative 10y and 40y that are opposites. If I multiply the first equation by 4, positive 4, that will give me a negative 40. So that's what I'm going to do because that will get my y's to drop out. So my new resulting first equation is 12x minus 40y equals negative 100. My second equation is not going to change since I don't have to multiply by anything. I add my two equations up and I get 16x equals negative 80. To solve for x here I'm going to divide both sides by 16 and x equals negative 5. This is my first variable. I now need to solve for y. When you're solving for y in this kind of scenario, you always want to go back to the original e one or two equations to find out your values. I'm going to go back to the first equation, which is 3x minus 10y equals negative 25. x, as we know, equals negative 5 from the previous equation. So that's negative 15 minus 10y equals negative 25. It's a lot of negatives, and it may have been better to use the second equation to try to work this out. However, this is where we started, and so we'll have to continue. I'm going to add 15 to both sides. That leaves me with negative 10y equals 10, which is negative. I divide both sides by negative 10. That leaves me with a final value of y equals 1. I have to check this problem by putting both values back into the other equation to check. The second equation was 4x plus 40y equals 20. Let's see if this checks. x is equal to negative 5. y is equal to 1. So negative 20 plus 40 equals 20. Is that true? It sure is. 20 equals 20, and so the problem checks. And my answer is negative 5 comma 1.